Welcome back to Playing Requested Towers. This is episode number two, and today I've selected four more towers that are going to battle it out to win the video. That winner will then go up against the winner from the previous video for the two video championship. So who will that award go to? Keep watching to find out. Also, we've officially hit 3,000 subscribers. The 3,000 subscriber special is going to be a Q&A, which I'm going to post a week from today, on March 30, 2024. I haven't recorded it yet, though, so you can still leave some questions in the comments section of this video, and I can answer them in the Q&A. Lag was quite a problem in the previous video, but I've made a private server now, so that means there's not going to be other towers loaded, so that that'll help a lot. I've fittingly named the private server Lag Free Zone. I also get no clip, which is nice. Here's our first tower, Tower of Mountain House, by this person, with this ID, and from this comment. Now, it seems to be like stuck loading. This is the second time it's said loading folder. I mean, everything seems to be loaded. Here it also says it's continuing to load. Um, yeah, and it's been saying that for like five minutes, so I, I think it's here to stay. But I think I can still play the tower, so that's fine. Goal is to climb a mountain and return an item. Hopefully high difficult might make a lobby. Button this way. Alright, I will go that way. Not that there's anywhere else to go. You may also notice the avatar I'm using. The first day of spring was the day before I posted Wednesday's video, but I recorded it before that, so that's my excuse for still having the winter outfit in that video, even though it was spring now. Well, for the northern hemisphere anyway. This outfit was one I made like three years ago, but never used in a video, so I'm using it today. Uh, since I haven't made the new one yet. Don't jump too late, okay? I should probably wait for it to appear. Oh, it probably means off of the spinner. I guess that would make sense, because then you'd hit your head. Okay, now jump like that, and then make sure I can jump over there. Okay, now I'm back outside, but still inside. Okay, I see what it is. It's like a mountain, because it's called Tower of Mountain House. Alright, and that takes me to floor two. Button. Okay. Same thing, I guess I gotta go this way. Wrap around here, and then this will launch me over here. Okay, there's the button. I think I can go this way now. Whoops. Wow, totally redid all of that. Well, that wasn't even that many jumps. More reason why you should definitely believe me that I definitely didn't use no clip. Beat blocks, they kind of fade like that, so that should make things a little easier. Bruh. Oh, no jump, okay. So I gotta walk around there, yeah. Okay, that was a quick no-jump section. This will give me that back. That's a teleporter also. Now this is a speed section. Okay. Neo. Okay, that finishes that. And, okay. Not sure what happens if I fall, but I have no clip, so let's find out. Oh. Okay, so I probably need a button, so let me go this way. Button one, button two. Uh, I'll get button one first, I guess. Okay, so I need to go here, and then jump like that. Jump here, and go on the spinner to press the button. There's the second button, so let me go back, and then go back again. Okay, and I can jump across these platforms that are now here, and use this where there's a sign that says, climb the truss from the side. What side? Don't you climb all trusses from a side? Okay, what's this? This increases my jump power. Okay. Okay, there's the button. I didn't know I was looking for a button. What did that do? Oh, there's a door down here. All right, back to regular jump power, and back outside inside. Find the buttons. Five. Button, 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 button. All right, time this right. Wait for that to disappear and jump. There we go. And this is a increased walk speed section. Where's the best place to jump to? I think I'm supposed to, I think I'm supposed to jump to there. Yeah, spinner. And that's gonna reset my walk speed. No, it's not. What? What is this? Probably some button activated platform. Go here and how is that even possible? Cause it's not possible. I go this way. Oh, and now I understand why that looks like that, because it was, in fact, button activated, not a speed remover. Glue equals one-way parts. Okay, so those are the ones where you can do that, but you- what? I think it's being weird because it's, like, rotated. Well, it's supposed to be, like, it's can collide true one way, but can collide false the other way. Hence the one-way parts. You need a button first. Okay, so looking for a button once again. It's probably in this direction. Basically a swing. Do I need a hold space? Is it like that? Well, I can do that. I don't think I need to though. But I was gonna say, is it like the thing from one of the towers last video? Okay, I see what it is. Cool. Yeah, if I could actually do that, time it right. Maybe, okay, I'm just gonna do that. That's easier. The exclamation marks tell me this is probably a conveyor. It's not a conveyor, okay. Boing. Outside, all right. Spinny. Okay, now I got outside jumps that are not over the spinny spinny boing there's a darkness section now it's very difficult to see anything but i think i need to jump 
to where that is. Two more floors to go. This one is also a darkness section, but it's a lot more illuminated. Probably wasn't supposed to be a darkness section before. I think I probably accidentally hit the lighting changer. All right, there's a button this way. Button. Okay, now I can go this way instead of left where it says button. I go this way. Fade time one second. Okay, so I should probably like jump back and forth. Uh, great. Okay. Wait for it to like be about to disappear. That way I can jump back to it like and not have it not have reappeared yet. Also, I think this is still supposed to be a darkness section. I just used no clip like to go back when I fell or something. So that's why it wasn't. There's a safety net. Okay, that's good to know even though I have no clips, so it doesn't matter. Okay, I've reached the top of the tower, but there's this section over here still. Be quick. 95 seconds until self-destruct. Oh boy. Go, 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 go! Oh. Collect this. Come on! Okay, now I see what I'm supposed to- Why- did, There was an- There's literally an invisible wall. See? Why is it doing that? Okay, since I can't jump on there, apparently I need to do that. Um, this, I'm just gonna go on top of it again. That's probably gonna fling me a lot, so, okay. Oh, maybe I should, like, look at what's actually here. Alright, and I think that's the end. Here's the ending. And yay! Look behind you, G Come on! I wanted to see that! Okay, let's try that again. Ah, yes, a self-destruct. Alright, a very cool tower. We'll give that a like. Okay, I can't seem to like this. It says it's an empty slot, probably because the game thinks it's still loading as it says here. But here's the tower ID once again, and let's move on to the next one. Here is our next tower, by this person, with this ID, and from this comment. I tried loading it in the private server, and it kept, like, glitching and doing this, but by joining a public server, it seems to work. Hopefully, the lag monster doesn't appear. Also, as much as no clip helps, I think it's more fun without it, because then there's, like, actually a reason to try not to fall. Enter. Citadel of skinny shenanigans. Sooner I will add a singular dance clip. Corner flipping required, ladder flicking required. Alright. Yeah, so it's like a neat sized citadel. Let's see how far I can get. That's a fading part. I guess it'll be harder to lose a lot of progress, in theory, um, once I get further into the citadel. Because there's more stuff to catch me, like it's- there's- like, you know, because all the platforms gotta be close together, since you're in not a lot of space, so... That would mean there'd be a lot of platforms close together to land on if I fall. It doesn't help to see the conveyor texture after I've landed on the conveyor. Okay, I know it's there. Now jump that time. Alright, nice. There appears to be a big safety net for like half of the size of the tower. Nice. Okay, five, four, three. I don't know where I'm supposed to get to. Oh, past that. Okay, this thing is spinning, so I need to be careful of that and jump to- Come on. Okay, I'm very glad the safety net is here. <laughs> There we go. Uh, this is probably a corner flip thing. All right, uh, button maybe? 20 seconds, okay, go this way. Are like all these gonna be timed? Yes, they are. Okay, so I need to get to that button in time. Go over here, get to this button in time. What did that do? Oh, stuff over here. Go, 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 go. Fall, trust me. What? Okay. Ah, that activated this. Okay, now I can go this way. Not sure if there's anything to catch me if I fall below. Those are all fading parts, uh oh. Well, great. Well, there's this thing to corner flip back inside the tower. Okay, so I just have to redo everything except those buttons. Oh no, the lag already. Okay, quick, go to settings and turn on canister mode and super duper ultra lobby LDM button that will make your game go 6,000 FPS. Ah, that's better. Don't ask why I was back outside the tower. I definitely didn't fail immediately after getting back to the outside or anything. Okay, so I can stop here and I need to look ahead. I can go on either side, I guess. I'll go on the right side though. Ah, almost missed it again, but I didn't, so we're fine. I don't like trusses, but that's fine. Uh, there we go. Okay, fading trusses have a red outline. Well, it's not red, so I guess it's not a fading truss. Hmm. <laughs> okay, it is anyway. Time for spleef. Survive 20 seconds, start moving as soon as you enter. You will not be able to jump into this, preventing missing the teleporter. All right. Do these respawn? I really hope these respawn. Okay, they do. So I can just run in circles then. Okay, there we go. Just teleported me back after the timer ran out. Now wrap around that thing. Okay. How many floors does this have? I think it's unfinished, but I do see five. So yeah, this is the second to last floor of what's built at the moment. Ready for an outside? No. What? What do I do? Uh, is that like the last place you can get to because it's unfinished or something? There doesn't appear to be a floor select either, so I guess that was the end. Okay. We'll give this one a like. It actually let me like it this time. Here's the tower ID again, and the winner between this one and Tower of- what was it called? And Tower of Mountain House is... 
Tower of Mountain House. This one was good too, but I feel like the other one was just like more fun throughout and it was finished also, so yeah. But this one does, I feel like, have more interesting client objects. There were some on the other one, but I feel like less so. It seems to be stuck on loading folder again. Not sure why that keeps happening, but I think it's fully loaded other than the game thinking it's not. Anyway, this is was an obelisk at some point, a tower by this person and with this ID from this comment, where they say it's a neat obelisk. So an obelisk is a 30 floor tower, but it's a neat tower. So it's like a mini tower, but it's still 30 floors or 50. Object crossing required, dance clipping required, corner glitching required, long, 101 floors done, 105 floors. Okay, so it's like a great citadel, actually. First person recommended for most floors. Eh, I'm not gonna do that. Okay, actually, maybe I will for like, this because walk around how many studs is that that's two that shouldn't be that difficult okay there that shouldn't have taken three attempts should have taken one i need to jump up there there's an outside already but that's okay well okay i'm on floor two now um yeah oh now i'm on floor one great wait no that was supposed to happen i don't know what that was maybe the button activated maybe no that was just redoing that just to, okay, whatever. For this, if I go on, like, the edge of that, and then, like, do that, that should work, but I keep hitting my head on the ceiling. Okay, there we go. Okay, so I can still fall down there, so I should probably not do that. But I probably will find a way to somehow anyway. Why am I back here? Wait, what? I, could I go this way the first time? I'm so confused. No, I wasn't supposed to jump from there. Okay, that means I gotta go back over here and do all this again. Now I get to redo the whole citadel. Okay, no, I wasn't supposed to go to that because I couldn't get to that. I was supposed to go to here. The route you take is confusing me way more than it should be. Okay, now do that, and now I'm here. Okay, do that and figure out where I'm supposed to go. So I think it's definitely not over... Oh, I go up this. Okay, okay, there's a button here. I have 25 seconds to do something. Wait, I have to get multiple buttons? I hit a green button somehow. Probably through a wall or something. Okay, I hit a blue button. Still looking for an orange one. There's a yellow one. Is the orange one this way? No, that's back where I came from. Okay, now I gotta go press a bunch of them again, because they ran out of time. Red. Go, 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 go. Green. Go, 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 go. Yellow. Go, 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 go. Blue. Go, 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 I sort of hit it before I thought it was going to. Go, 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 go. There we go. Okay, finally. Now I get to go to an outside where I lose everything if I fall. Gotta get close enough to the edge where I can make this jump, not like... Uh, I don't know how I didn't miss that. Okay, sure. That works. Uh, scary. Okay, what's the best thing to do here? I think I'm just gonna try walking -ing -ing. And wrapping there works. Okay, okay, next floor. <gasps> no! <laughs> I realized at the last second that it had said those are insta-kills! <laughs> what? Is there a teleporter if I fall? Maybe there is, because that would explain what just happened. Yeah, there, there is. Okay, that makes this less stressful. Uh, so I can't jump there. What do I do? Oh, there's a ledge over here where I need to be careful not to hit the insta-kill. kidding me failing to do that jump about uh, 100 times in a row really good it's not gonna let me like it though because it's doing that here's the tower id once again and let's move on to the final one of this video our final tower of the video is tower of semi-classic cave systems by this person with this id and from this comment black skybox please is that something i'm supposed to do it i don't know if it's anything in this uh what's in here citadel i thought it's a tower hmm tower of semi-classic cave systems let's go cave okay i probably can't jump to that i probably need to jump on okay jump here okay now jump to that okay it did something it activated these and probably something over here as long as i don't die which i'm about to because i can't stand on this even though i thought i could but now i see it's button activated i haven't activated the button yet oh i go over there well i just have to sit here for a while because i have to wait for the house to reach out hmm. difficulty spike why is that in quotes am i questioning whether it's actually a difficulty spike i, I think i am because this feels about the same difficulty 
What did that do? I think it actually, these people are going this way. What? I don't think I'm supposed to do that. No, there's definitely nowhere to go from here. Wait, yes there is. What does it say? Button needed. All right, let's go find a button. Oh, like that. Okay, button. Platforms, yay! Okay, now jump down here. Was I supposed to press a button up there? I saw what looked like a button. This part was sponsored by Tower of Linenophobia. Guys, this video is sponsored by... What does this do? Uh oh, increased jump power. Okay, can I go back this way? And that was a button. You do press that. Okay. Okay, so these are activated. Go this way and floor two. Yeah. All right, there's a spinner here. Let me jump to the spinner. Whoa. Okay, so I can jump sort of to the center of that. I don't know if this will ever be button activated. We'll find out if it is, I guess. Okay, there's a button. I don't know what it activated. Well, it deactivated this. That might have been all it did. It appears I can wrap to here. But that just takes me back to there. Maybe I need to go back this way. Oh, it activated this. I see. Okay. How did I not hit that button? There we go. 10 seconds. Go, go, go. Yay! X pusher instructions. Jump into the center and don't move, nor play with the pusher. You might get flung. Don't complain in chat if it's broken. Do I go here? I, I guess so. I see no X pusher, though. I can still jump to that. It's a shadow section looking thing. Fading parts fade for one second normally. Or normally. What do you mean normally? What's that supposed to mean? It means I fell, that's what it means. Okay, jump to that. Wait for it to respawn. Actually, go to this side of the truss. Since I can. Alright. So, like, the brown universal parts are those fading parts. Alright, there's a button. Go back this way. Oh, it means for this thing. Okay, this was talking about this, which I can see now. Whoa! So cool! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh-oh. This is a problem. Well, great. Actually, that was only a couple jumps to redo. I just gotta... Where is I supposed to jump off? No, 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 not again, not again. Oh, 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 that's not good. Let's like this tower. Here's the ID once again, if you want to come play it. Now comes the part where I announce the winners. First things first, the winner between was an obelisk at some point and Tower of Semi-Classic Cave Systems is Tower of Semi-Classic Cave Systems. I feel like was an obelisk at some point didn't have as much detail and some of the gameplay was a little bit annoying. So that's why I chose Tower of Semi-Classic Cave Systems. And now for the winner between Tower of Mountain House and Tower of Semi-Classic Cave Systems. This is the winner of this video and that award goes to Tower of Semi-Classic Cave Systems. I liked both of the towers, but I feel like Tower of Semi-Classic Cave Systems had a more interesting selection of different client objects, so that's why I chose it. And now for the two video championship. I've loaded in Tower of Mismatched Foolery again. It looks like they haven't added anything since the last video, but this is a good time to mention that I'll go like look at the tower again, like from a previous video, for the two, three, and four video championships. Just in case there's any more improvements or more, the tower has been built since the last time I played it, so I want to get the most, like, up-to-date opinion on the tower, I guess. But the winner between Tower of Mismatched Foolery and Tower of Semi-Classic Cave Systems, the winner of the two video championship is... Tower of Semi-Classic Cave Systems. It was a close one, but I decided to go with Tower of Semi-Classic Cave Systems. Both towers involved unique client object challenges that I really liked, but I feel like Tower of Semi-Classic Cave Systems had more of a unique atmosphere and theming as well, compared to Tower of Mismatched Foolery, you know, the idea that you're in a cave. So yes, Tower of Semi-Classic Cave Systems was the two video championship. Two videos from now, we'll have another two video championship winner, then that will go up against Tower of Semi-Classic Cave Systems. Is Tower of Semi-Classic Cave S how many times am I gonna say that? Is T-O-S-C-S good enough to win the three video championship? Keep watching Requested Towers to find out. In the meantime, I hope you enjoyed this video, and thanks again for 3,000 subscribers. Like I said, you can still comment some questions for the 3,000 subscribers Q&A video that I'll post on March 30. So I'll see you in the next video, and have a great day.